What's up guys? Jeff here. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Yes, I'm wearing a very funny hat. Uh, and yes, I've been drinking... Uh, yeah, it's clear. It's uh, Smirnoff Ice. Um, yes. So, top 10 non-Funko collectible items. Uh, it's a tag video. I got tagged by Nerd of the 80s. Um, this is a very hot video because I like all my collectibles. I like all my items. So, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a hard video and uh, a lot of the items I can't reach because uh, usually when it's way up top, my brother is taller than me. I'll, you know, I'll ask him if he can put this up there. But like I don't have a chair or a ladder right right now, so yeah, top ten and um, I'm enjoying my Friday with some beer or alcoholic beverage. Yes, yeah, so I'm feeling a little buzz. That's why I'm wearing a hat and I'm just being all goofy. So, top ten. Here we go. Let's get started. So, at number 10, it's going to be the E.T. from NECA. These four right here. They're amazing figures. I love them. And they look really awesome. The E.T. These are all four in the set. I know there's more from NECA, and I hope I can find them. But there it is. Number 10. Now let's go to number 8. I mean, 9. Yep, I've been drinking. Number 9. No, it's not Blair Witch. It's the uh, Jason Voorhees mask. I've always wanted a good mask. And when I heard that NECA had these, I had to buy them. And they're really awesome. There's that one. There's that one. And there's this one here. This one here from the band box, it's not like the movie prop like this one and this one, but it's still cool. But yeah, these are my number nine on the list. These masks are wicked awesome. Now let's go to number eight. Number eight on my list, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. They're both awesome figures. Uh, I got them at amucktime.com. And yeah, these figures are just amazing. You guys probably seen my video on these. See, these are my number eight right here. Very sweet. And I got this recently. My number seven is going to be Reagan from The Exorcist. I've always been looking for this figure, and there it is. Amazing figure. It's a spider walk. It's still in this package. I like to keep my figures in its package. Unless I can find two for a good price, then I'll display one and keep one in a package. So now we're off to number six on the list. Number six is a NECA figure. It's Pamela Voorhees with little Jason look at little Jason huh. the Camp Crystal Lake shirt there's Pam Voorhees awesome figure one of my favorite figures and it definitely has to be on my list there it is right there yep awesome figure so um yeah I've always been looking for this figure and, and it's, it's it's hard to find you can go on eBay but it's a bit pricey and it's a uh, NECA exclusive let me see if I can zoom in on right there 2015 convention exclusive awesome figure number five from Mesco the Chucky vinyl figures got all three and there's one more coming that I'm going to get from Bride of Chucky. 
Awesome. That's uh, the Glow in the Dark exclusive. Very nice. Chucky. These figures are just amazing. Amazing detail. Very nice. Number four. I'm going to have to go ahead and say all of this right here. I'm sorry, guys. I can't choose one. I love them all. But all my 12-inch um, my figures right here, love them all. They're great, especially that Chucky right there from Mesco. Awesome. This is all number four on my list. Look, check out Sam, Pennywise, Mike. You got Chucky, Charles Lee Ray, Chucky, Leatherface, Jason Voorhees, Blade, Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger. Hello, Heisenberg. Number three are my horror magnets from Cryptocurium. Check them out. Amazing magnets. This one is from Zimmerman, I think his name is. Chucky. From, um, man, I suck. I forgot the name. Chucky from Miseranium, I think it's called. I think his, I think his name is Zimmerman. All my awesome magnets, Fangoria magnets. Very nice. So that was number three. So I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you something for my number two that's not horror related. You like the hat? Um it's my guitar. Um I'm not the best guitarist in the world. I'm not Joe Satriani. But I play it every now and then. It's lots of fun. And I've had many guitars. But this guitar is my most expensive guitar I ever bought. And it is true what they say. You want a good guitar, you need to buy a good guitar. You can go to a guitar center and you can get like a Squire, pick up a Squire for like 150 bucks or 200 bucks you get a Squire and a Styler amp Yeah, you're gonna like it But then you're gonna hate it You know to get a good guitar to get a good feel You need a good guitar a good expensive guitar And right here folks Come on I know it's a little dusty, but this is my Dean Cadillac. It's by, by Dean Guitars. My Dean Cadillac guitar. It's, it is dusty. You gotta clean it up a little bit. Now, Dean Guitars. If you're not familiar with Dean, uh, let me see, uh, Dimebag Darrow, Dean Guitars. Um, Megadeth Ding Guitars. Um, a, a lot of country Ding Guitars. Um, Static X, Wayne Static Ding Guitars. A lot of black metal. A lot of metal Ding Guitars. And I am missing so many artists that go with Ding Guitars. Ding Guitars, uh, Dean Guitars are the best. In a Awesome fret here for a little fretboard here And Check out the head here You got the Dean wings. It does say Dean, but I put this on here Because uh, when I when I do play sometimes I put my GoPro so it, it can capture the whole guitar Awesome guitar Check out my strap for it Good, uh, good and Evil Skulls. My favorite guitar right here. Paid good money for it when it, when it, when it came out. It's really awesome. Uh, the Dean Cadillac came out 
years, years, years ago. But then they they came back again with like kind of the same style but new. So yes, this is number two on my list. It is hot, really. I have to turn off my AC and I'm already sweating. So I gotta refresh myself. I don't normally drink on my video, but I had a long day. Number one, as you can already see, is Chucky here. This, yeah, it's not a life-size Chucky. It's not. It's not the best Chucky doll. Um, as a matter of fact, you can probably go on eBay and get this guy for maybe 50 bucks, possibly 100. The more you wait, the more expensive these get. Yeah, it's a regular cheapo doll. So why is this number one? I mean, this guy has a lot of history. Uh, there's a good story why I like that, that why this is number one. My first horror figure or horror collectible that I, I ever gotten is right here. Chucky. And I used to scare my sister every day. Jessica, if you're watching, I'm sorry. But Chucky. And I and Jessica, if you if you are watching, one day I am going to get a life-size Chucky. Oh yeah. It's gonna happen, and then when you come here, when you visit your big brother, you're gonna see it. So yeah, I used to scare my sister all the time. It was lots of fun. I know she got scared, but I know it was some good memories for her as well. Um, yeah, Chucky right here. Now, now the, the thing is, this may or may not be the same Chucky doll that I had. Here's the thing, uh, and, and this video is probably going to be long, but anyways, my dad threw away the Chucky doll years ago. He threw away that damn, that damn doll. He threw it away. So my sister was so scared, and I, and I wouldn't stop. I was an evil kid. So, threw it away. I want to say maybe five, six years ago. Um, about two or three blocks over my old house where I used to live, where I used to have this second doll that had a uh, yacht sale. And I saw this hanging on the fence for five dollars. I drove by, I stopped, I'm like, did I just see Chucky? Got all excited, backed up, I didn't care what, what was behind me so I'm driving a big truck and I saw this for five bucks and I told the guy dude I used to have the same one you know and I bought it and you know what this could be the same one it's all dirty it's all old I mean maybe he found us when my dad threw it away maybe it was on top of my trash cans Maybe he found this and brought it home, then said, you know what, I'm just going to throw it away or sell it in my, in my yacht sale, and I got it back. So this could possibly be the same doll. Maybe. Are you the same doll? He says I should drink more. But anyway, that's my top 10, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later. That's right, folks. I forgot to tag people in this video. Oops. So, I switched from uh, Smirnoff Ice to Twisted Tea. Now, I know I've been drinking a lot in this video. I hardly... Whoa. I just opened up a webpage. I hardly drink. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I hardly drink. I gotta add three people and it's gonna be hard to add three people. Um, cause I've watched some of your 
some of the other tag videos and they uh, tag people that I wanted to tag. But I've got three that I'm looking at right now. So the first person I'm going to tag is Miko Romero. Tag Yurit. And the second person I'm going to tag is New York Nerd. Tag Yurit. And the third person I'm going to tag is Abe M. Tag Yurit. And Abe, I think Abe and um, New York Nerd. I think they're going to be at here. I know Abe is. I think they're going to be at TFW Texas next year. So it's going to be awesome. We're going to have a hell of a time. I'm going to stop talking or else this video is going to be wicked long. But we're going to drink some beers and yes. So those three guys and girl. Miko, Romero, New York Nerd, ABM. Check out their videos, their channels. Uh, link will be in the detail section below. Thanks for watching guys, have an awesome day, and take care. Later. Hey, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Also check out my social media links somewhere here or over there somewhere. Thanks guys.